Hello, in this Steam Deck video, I'm going to show you how to set up the XEMU emulator, which is an original Xbox emulator. It's the best working one around, but it still has you know performance issues. You, you, some games will work fine, some games will not, but if you do want to play original Xbox games, this is your best bet. So just want to state this video does not condone piracy, it is for educational purposes only. Obviously, for legal purposes, you should own the console, the an, an original Xbox, and the game that you are trying. Okay, so first of all, what you want to do is actually get out of the regular Steam gaming mode and click your Steam button. Go to Power, switch to Desktop. So let's let it switch to Desktop. If this is the first time you are coming to Desktop mode, then what I recommend is wait a few seconds because the right trackpad, which can act as your mouse movement input, doesn't get, you know, sort of activated straight away. It's probably activated right now for me. And there we go. So if you were to click the right trackpad in, it will be a left click. If you click the left trackpad in, it acts as a right click. And you can, you know, just use your mouse as well if you want to. I mean, like your mouse, your finger on the touch screen, you can go down that route. I just prefer the trackpads. So first of all, you want to go to the Discover Store. So go to the, you know, the Start menu. Go to all, all favorites or all, all applications. Go to Discover. And go to Search. And if the keyboard doesn't appear, I'm pretty much always it never does. What you want to do is press the Steam button plus the X button and then the keyboard will appear. So Steam X and then type in XEMU. You can use the trackpad, you can use the you know, arrows. I'm gonna use the touch screen. For this, I prefer the touch screen X. XEMU. There we go. It's appeared right there. It says remove over here. If you haven't installed it, it will have a button that says install. Click that, wait for it to install, it doesn't take long at all. Once that's done, you'll need to get a few files for XEMU. You can get them from the description. There's free links in there, so download all free files, a couple of zip files, uh, I mean a couple of compressed files, not all zip, but a couple of compressed files and one non-compressed file, get hold of them. Again, this video is not condoned policy, it is for educational purposes, and I'll show you where to put them. So what you want to do, let me go to, so let's say you've downloaded them, go to downloads, and let me delete these files, I've already extracted them, but I'll extract them again. So if you've got this, right click that, Go to extract to, extract, well not extract, extract archive here. Do the same for Xbox BIOS. Um, my bad, they are actually all compressed files. And finally that one, extract. There we go, that's the only one that doesn't produce a folder. Okay, so what you wanna do is copy, not the two folders, within there there's some files that you need. So for the debug BIOS, just get the complex bin, not the debug one, and right click it. So that's the left trackpad clicked in. Go to copy. And what you wanna do is click home. And you wanna to go to dot var. If dot var doesn't appear, that will be because it's a hidden folder. Click this burger button right here. Go to show hidden files, and then it will appear. Single click will just literally open up the folder. You don't need to double click. Go to app, app.exe, app.xemu, .xemu. Go to data, xemu, xemu, and just paste it right. So yeah, you already have a eeprom.bin, that's fine. You may not have the xemu.toml file. That's because I've already run it. It's generated some files automatically. That is not a problem. So right click. And paste the item with paste. Okay, gonna go to downloads again. Go to Xbox BIOSes, and you just need the MCPX. So right click, copy, and I'm just gonna go back again because that's the easiest way to go back there. 
and go to download and finally grab the this HDD file right click copy and paste this right here and what did that do okay so that's that done now okay so the next step is once you've got some games, you will need them in ISO format. If you have them in a format where there's a folder, in there there's like a .xbe file and like some other folders there, you'll need to convert that to an ISO file. I will provide a link in the description where you can do that using your computer and you know, you can transfer it on using something like Winpinator um, or Warpinator. Winpinator is the Windows version, Warpinator is like the Linux version that you can have on your Steam Deck and using that you can you know transfer files and using Extract ISO you can convert .xbe version to an ISO and I've put all my ISOs which is just one at the moment on my micro SD card in a folder called ROMs, Xbox and it's right there Simple stuff, really easy. Okay, so now we can actually launch XEMU up. I have it literally down here. You probably will not, because uh, you won't have pinned it. You'll go to games, go to XEMU. This will not appear for you. Uh, let me relaunch it. So I'll just pause it. This the opening intro will not appear for you because it won't you won't have configured it. When you first launch it up, it'll probably say, you know, go to settings, click go to settings, that's fine. Uh, or you can go to if you on here, go to machine, go to system, and go to system and make sure for the MCPX boot ROM, you select the MCPX dot bin. And again, you just click this and you navigate here. But to do that, you go to home. You go to dot var. If dot var does not appear, right click anywhere here and go to show hidden files. That's very important. So go to dot var, app, app to XEMU, data, XEMU, XEMU, and select, I think it was the MCPX, was the first one. Then select the flash ROM, which is the complex file. Then the hard disk, which is the one that ends in dot q c o w two and the e e pro will automatically be detected so once you've got those files selected you're all good to go and the only other real thing you can leave everything else as default for the most part in display for some reason my window size automatically got detected as 1280 by 960 chain that to 1280 by 800 which is you know obviously 1280 by 960 is would that be four by three? Yeah, that's four by three, hence why it was doing that. I mean, you could do that as well. I've just changed it to 1280 by 800, and you could up the internal resolution, but I recommend just leaving it as is. For input, it should automatically detect. So if I move the right analog stick, it moves it on here. If I press like you know, out R2, it detects it, and that's it. Uh, to make sure you've got it detected, go to Steam Virtual Gamepad, and that's it. Auto bind controllers. Nothing more to it than that. And what you want to do, the logo won't appear, so you'll just want to shut it down, relaunch. If you get any error about display not setup or anything like that, just make sure you've got the correct file in the correct place. It has to be there, because otherwise, if there's somewhere else on your system and you navigate, oh, let me pull this. If you navigate to them, it doesn't always work, so bear that in mind. Okay, so to launch a game, I've already launched it, but to launch one, Go to machine, load disk, find your game. So again, for me, it's in run, so it's home. And I know, so I know that the micro SD card is in other locations, computer, run, media, and then these MMC, ROMs, Xbox, then the .ISO, like so. And there we go, it launches up, fantastic stuff. You can pause it, etc. etc. For some reason, yeah. some reason it has messed up, but I'm positive that it's working a okay because it was before. There we go. 
Uh, for some reason, if you get stuff like that where the some of the menu items don't appear with the user interface, I find after you get into the game and come out, they do start appearing. It's a bit strange. I found this issue with Halo. Okay, so you can start playing right now. But what I'm going to show you is how to add XEMU to your Steam library so you can use it outside of Steam desktop mode. So you might not want to be in desktop mode. Okay, so let's close this down. And by default, it will launch the last previous ISO game that you selected. Bear in mind, so go to Steam, still within here. Go to Library. Go to Add a Game. Go to Add a Non-Steam Game. And scroll all the way down till you find XEMU. It won't appear here because I've already added it. You find it, you, you know, let's say click the check next to it. Obviously next to XEMU. Go to Add Selected Programs. And that's it. And now what we can do. Go to Gaming Mode. And you'll see how to use it in Gaming Mode now. You can use it in Desktop Mode or Gaming Mode, whichever you prefer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is click the Steam button, go to Library, go to Non-Steam, in top right, and it'll appear right here. And if we go back, it's appeared right there, XEMU, and that's it. Click A to launch. It launches this up. And to interact with the system or XEMU, you need to, you can't use the right trackpad here, you have to use the to screen so that's just something to bear in mind so i would have to do that and then the menus appear and i can you know trigger the menus but you can also have this game scope i mean the fps up as well which is fantastic and if you want to go to full screen let's go to view select full screen which i've already got hence why you'll just disappear and let's go to campaign now so you can actually see the game running well like i said depending on what game you're playing your mileage will vary so please check out the XEMU website, check their compatibility list out, have a look at what games are working. Obviously, I'll be compiling a compatibility list for XEMU on Steam Deck so you can see what games are running on Steam Deck and you can you know, play them knowing they work well. So I'm just going to skip all this. Put the volume up. And for some reason, this little intro part is low frames. But when the thing opens up, it goes back to 60 frames per second. Again, you, your mileage will vary. Here we go. Sorry for the quick thaw, Master Chief. Things are a little hectic right now. That's it. Obviously, I could play the game. I will reserve that for a separate gameplay video. Let me know what other Steam Deck videos you would like to see. Let me know what gameplay videos, especially with XEMU on Steam Deck, you would like to see as well thanks for watching if you like the video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe but hit that subscribe button and i'll see you soon bye bye